it's me GG Games. welcome to today's very very exciting video because we have more concept art to show you guys and in today's video we are releasing the Brachiosauruses for this enclosure and no this park is not compatible with the paths because using the paths it does make it look quite weird because the paths weren't actually in the movie however you can add paths like what i've done right now but it's just not the same so this park build will not have paths it's just buildings so it's not really functional in that way so we place down the fence going around the perimeter of the island well not the island the trees and when i look back where you see the map Yes, it does take up a lot of space, so we do have to use the trees and make it smaller. This is round about the size for a normal brachy well not a normal brachiosaurus enclosure, but it is the average size for a very, very functional brachiosaurus paddock. I did have it as electrified steel, but then I decide to make it the light cable fence instead just because I didn't really like it how the it was electrified so I'm thinking the perimeter fence would be electrified and the rest would not be however the T-Rex one needs to be the electrified one because you see that in the movie I do wish we got the other fence which was the well we do have the one for the t-rex paddock but how about the one that we had for the perimeter fence where dr alan grant tim and lexi go over the fence that kind of fence i don't know if that's actually the electrified fence in this game i'm not 100 percent sure so we change that and we actually make the enclosure smaller on the right hand side mainly because we need a lot more space and I just wish the islands were smaller and now when I look back at it it's actually kind of better that I made it smaller because in the movie you don't see the right hand side you just see where the water is so we do place the trees down here and we just get rid of the fence and replace it again and just do that so well we do not actually get rid of the trees that were originally here just yet because that's where the visitor center will be going in the next episode and the fences the enclosures are not the same as like the recreation kind of thing like being one to one scale pretty much but the scenes that like scene one scene two all those are in really good detail so it's just kind of like that it's not actually the layout from what you see in the movie with all the perimeter fences with all the stuff it's not exactly like that because it's not good when you do it like that so i did have to improvise and change everything I just imagine going on the Isla Nublar, the first sandbox map, that really awful one. Imagine going back on that and building on it. That would feel so weird. So, I am thinking to maybe do a playthrough, which we just do that. And I did skip through the entire boring bit of the Brachiosaurus is being delivered and transported and created mainly because it's we all know what it's like to be honest with you you just tranquilize the dinosaur and transport it it's like that I wish it was in instant incubation and instant transportation so you drag the dinosaur and drop it that would be quite cool so this is the seen from Jurassic Park and I do go on to the capture mode because why not and I do put it on slow because the dinosaurs are running so I put it on slow and the dinosaurs look like they're walking when in reality they are running 
So, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and remember to like, comment, and definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel, because it would mean the world to me, and it's free, you don't have to do anything else instead of clicking the button. So that was me, JJ Games, and goodbye.